what's happening. One of Hollywood. She dropped anchor from Inside Edition and gambled 13 hard won years before the cameras to host her own daily talk show. Unfazed by inevitable comparisons to Oprah, Rolanda just shrugs and says, gee, thanks. Of course I would love Oprah to come up and go, you're the, gonna be the next queen of talk shows, here's my crown. Of course we would all love that, who wouldn't? Behind each seemingly effortless performance is a gutsy gal whose biggest battle has always been against life's naysayers. Every single success I can ever point to in my life has come from somebody out there saying I could never do it. And that was the challenge. Credit Rolanda's media magic with a career evolution that spun her from the theatrical stage into the gritty world of hard news reporting. This time, I'm enjoying this part of my career because it's real. It's real life. It's you can be real. I got a loud voice. I got a cackly laugh. I'm a little silly sometimes, but that's just who I am. And, and under this job, they say that's okay. Growing up in Winston-Salem, Rolanda knew how to play to the camera from the get-go. Sugar and spice and all things nice? Well, not exactly. I was a tomboy growing up. My first pair of shoes were cowboy boots. I didn't care about having really little curls and stuff. I didn't want any girly, girly stuff. Vacations to the North inspired a young Rolanda to dream of a one-way ticket to a new life in the Big Apple. My family used to make summer trips here at the end of the summer when we'd all come together as a family and make the trip to New York City. And my brother and I used to ride the subways. That was, that was like, that was like going, jumping on the Ferris wheel at the Dixie Classic Fair. I mean, that was the most exciting thing. We'd ride for 50 cents, man. We'd ride all day long. And that was when that token had a Y in the middle of it. And I loved coming to New York because people walked as fast as me and they talked as fast as me and you could be different and embraced for your difference. And it was just really cool. And I said, this is a place I want to build my life. And I used to wear that little token around my neck and it said New York City on one side and on the other side it said good for one fair. And I said, when I get there, that's it. And it worked. Rolanda's ease in front of the camera is partly due to her graduation from television's school of hard knocks. Say the teenaged boy had something else in mind, kidnapping. In 1992, Rolanda started going where the stories were as an Inside Edition senior correspondent, even when it meant facing a potentially hostile crowd. I really don't like you in my face like this, and I suggest that you walk away, young man, please, before I have to call Such chutzpah won a call inviting her to enter the ring and do battle in the talk show wars. Rolanda came out swinging with a winning combination of down-home sass and a big city sense of humor. We're getting a call here that Bishop Tutu says he'll talk to us. I'd like to see what Bishop Tutu has to say about the O.J. Simpson verdict. I think we'll book it. The payoff for success? Start with a view of Central Park from an apartment that's everything the kid who once wore a subway token around her neck could have dreamt of, and then some. Picture perfect in every way, Rolanda calls the shots on interior decor, right down to the last knick-knack. But even with a lofty view of Manhattan, her social life is very much down to earth, especially with the girlfriends. It also means watching for the guys. What do you give this one coming in here? One through ten. Oh. Rating her own steady mandate, Rolanda gives Stephen James a solid ten. What point of the future, Rolanda, do you say the career's got to cut back a little because family life's got to take a priority? I agree with Barbara Bush when she said that, you know, at the end of our time, it's not how many deals you close, how many lead stories you had, how many talk shows you put in the can. But really, what differences you made in people's lives, how many kids you hugged, how many you had, how many hands you held, I think that's really important to me. It, it is extremely important to me to have children and have a family. But for now, Rolanda treats her colleagues like extended family. The love triangle today. The love triangle. Determined not to be like some of the bosses she's worked for, Ro is more like a big sister to the production staff on her show. But behind all the fun and games, a fierce determination to stay one surprise ahead of the talk show competition. 
No, make me beautiful. <laughs> no, y'all please make me somebody. God, As the mistress of her own destiny, Rolanda has come a long way from the little girl who dared to believe in herself before anyone else did. I think one of the greatest things in life is when you get to rediscover that child and to make sure she's A-OK -okay and that she has all the things she dreams about and that she's safe and she's secure and she's giggling and she's happy and she's having fun and she's still wearing those cowboy boots. That is happiness. Rolanda, television's high wattage host.